So what is going on Kingdom Hearts fans and Aqua fans in particular, such as myself, Tessie Nomura has given us more information on Aqua and her affliction and potentially what this may have to do with the story and of course our role when it comes to saving this girl, man. So let's go ahead and talk about Aqua Bay so we can actually put her minds at rest. So Tessie Nomura was asked, at the end of the video, we noticed that of course Aqua are, is showing signs of darkness. Players are very concerned about it and he said why is it such a concern of course it cannot be leaked however it is not without the chance to save her this part depends on the player's efforts i like that last little sentence right there he says this part depends on the player's efforts so i'm wondering if there's some level of choice within kingdom hearts 3 that they haven't announced yet and of course when it comes to the 13 seekers or the characters who have fallen to the 13 seekers can you potentially kill all of the 13 seekers if aqua is in fact the 13 seeker can you make the choice to strike aqua down in the final battle or will we have the possibility of pressing a final button of, of course in which we can use the key to return hearts or whatever the hell that is of course we can use the key to return hearts to potentially take Xehanort's heart out of her and put it back into Xehanort. I think that that's going to be something cool if there is something like that. But as you heard, Tessie Nomura has confirmed that we will potentially have the possibility to save Aqua. It's just up to the player's efforts. And what this means to me is that potentially there will be a level of choice when it comes to the Seven Guardians. Will you deem their actions so vile in the story of Kingdom Hearts 3 or over the plot of, of course, kingdom hearts games that you just want to kill them all or will you just use the key to return hearts to put the hearts back into xehanort and of course make him one being and just strike the one individual xehanort down and i wonder what this could mean for of course the story as well when it comes to the ending could there be multiple endings of the game as well who knows man i i definitely like what he had to say with that final sentence choice has never been kingdom hearts games have always had a very linear story no matter what you do your story will always be the same as someone else's story your gameplay um and stuff and things that you see through gameplay potentially may be different but your story has always been the same story as everyone else but when it comes to this it's making it sound like there potentially will be an ending to it to where you do kind of have some influence do you slay all of the 13 seekers is that what you want to do or do you want to save of course the characters like terra and aqua and potentially ventus if they're all seekers of course aqua in that questionable realm too or do you potentially of course save every single one of the 13 seekers besides Xehanort and just strike the one entity Xehanort down. I definitely would love something like that. But he has stated that Aqua can be saved. It's something of player choice. And of course, this once again goes into the theme of whether or not she's a seeker or not with of course the Square Enix rep who has finished the game, who knows the ending of the game, who knows what the hell is going on with her as he kind of alluded to her not being assimilated by Xehanort. And then of course he also spoke about later on how he finished the game. So he definitely would know if she's a Xehanort. And once again, this isn't a spoiler to anyone who actually knows the lore of the story now what makes it a potential possibility that she isn't absorbed by Xehanort is that we've never heard of we've never seen a character be so lost in the realm of darkness or you know be so surrounded by darkness for so long that we don't know if the same thing that you get from a Xehanort assimilation is what's happening to Aqua but just through the realm of darkness itself we don't know we just don't know we'll just have to wait because the rep actually said that it was through the realm of darkness Tessie Nomura has still failed to elaborate on whether or not this is truly a Xehanort possession or assimilation so who knows exactly what's going to happen all he did say is that it shouldn't have been more important than the Frozen reveal like what this is one of the most beloved characters within kingdom hearts because of how tender and caring of a character she is and of course you're gonna tell us it shouldn't have been as important as it was compared to the frozen reveal are you out your damn mind is your reality warped or some shit but of course this has been your boy amazia don't get to do a little a class game and everything you do don't forget to keep it a class also go ahead and follow me on twitter man at amazia yt Links in the description and pinned comment if you want to. And of course, I'll catch you guys in the next one. Peace the heck out.
sanctuary, my sanctuary, yeah, reveals 